Loon gang, loon gang. Equilibrium, inclined planes, loins, strings, alpha, beta, all that good stuff. Let's take a look at this question. It says two particles A and B have masses, capital M and lowercase m, respectively. They are attached to the ends of a light inextensible string, which pass over a smooth pulley, fixed at the top of the triangle. Given that alpha is arctan half and beta is arctan two, and the system is in limiting equilibrium with A about to slip downwards, show that this is true, where mu is the coefficient of friction between B and the plane, and QP is smooth. So basically saying that this surface here is rough. Okay, so we basically just go about the same process. It looks intimidating, but really, guys, it's quite a simple question. It's all about making hard questions look easy, okay? So, we have two pi calls A and B have masses capital M, so we're going to have capital MG, and then for B, we're going to have lowercase mg. They're both resting on surface, so we'll call that R, and at B, let's call it N, normal reaction. We have the tensions running through the string. We also have that A is on a smooth surface, B is on a rough surface. Now A wants to move down the plane, that's what they said somewhere. A is about to slip down, which means for B, the coefficient of friction, or friction in general, is pointing down the plane, and it's acting at its maximum because we have limiting equilibrium. So we're going to have mu r, where r is n here. Okay, now everything being in equilibrium means all the forces are balanced, but we need to make sure that everything is pointing in the ground, out the ground, down the hill, up the hill. So this mg, we're going to have to resolve it into the ground, down the hill. This is alpha. So this being right angle, this will be mg cos alpha. And this will be mg sine alpha. That's dealt with. We don't even need to deal with that. Now with this lowercase, we have into the ground, down the hill. This angle will be beta. So this will be mg cos beta and mg sine beta. Okay, now that's dealt with. Okay, so let's focus on A. We can see out the ground into the ground. Not that you need it because there's no friction here. R equals mg cos alpha. Okay. And then out the ground into, well, up the hill, down the hill. Let's get rid of this. We have T is mg sine alpha. Okay, here you can start replacing based on our angles, but I'll do that later. Now for B, so this is for A. For B, we have N equals mg cos beta. We have N is mg cos beta. Then up the hill, down the hill for B, it's an equilibrium, so T equals mu n plus mg sine beta. So we have T is mu n uh, plus mg sine beta. Okay. Now we're going to sub in n, and then I guess we can sub in T. So when we sub in T, we get mg sine alpha is mu n, which is mg cos beta plus mg sine beta. Now here actually I need to be careful because I've written m, but it's actually capital M. These are all capital M's. M for M. So this is a capital M. Because I was about to cancel all the mg's, that would have been wrong. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Um, should we divide through by sine? No, definitely not. So you have m sine alpha, I thought all the angles were the same, is mu cos beta, mu m cos beta, plus m sine beta. Now here we're going to say alpha is arctan half, so that means tan alpha is a half. And we have tan beta is 2, which is 2 over 1. Looking at our right angle triangles, tan is the ops over the hype. No, no it's not. It's the ops over the adjacent. 
Uh, this will be root 5 doing some cheeky Pythag. Then with this one, we have 2, 1, root 5. Okay? So from here, sine alpha is 1 over root 5. So we have 1 over root 5, m is cos beta is a uh, 1 over root 5. Yeah, 1 over root 5 mu m. And sine beta is 2 over root 5 times 2 by root 5. I get m is, and we can factorize out an m here, we get mu plus 2. 2 plus mu, mu plus 2, same thing. And that, guys, is proved. So actually it works out really clean. So just take it slow, man. Don't do too much in one go. Take your time, innit? So guys, if you learned something today, hit the like button, share this with a mate if you think it will benefit them, subscribe for more maths content. If you're interested in my A-level maths courses, link is in the description. And feel free to join the Learn Gang Reddit page if you want to submit your own questions, get feedback from the community and myself. I'll see you guys in the next question. Nice.